they know that going forward in the future, this is what they'll be doing to care for their patients. I train a lot of residents. Uh, we have 39 residents in my program. I've graduated uh, over 250 residents in, in the last uh, 22 years as a director. And um, obviously all of them have used ultrasound and learned ultrasound. When we put out the hand carried systems, they get very, very excited about using them because they're fun to use and because the image quality is great and all the other things I, I've talked about, but because they know it's the future. They know that that's where the practice of clinical medicine is going. We have residents in our hospital. They all love ultrasound. Um, having and employing each of them with an ultrasound to kind of pique their curiosity and to delve deeper into sort of their learning at the bedside can only make things better. I am a big believer that the next generation of medical trainees are going to really lead this transformation of care with the point of care ultrasound that we have foreseen for many years. This next generation who's much more facile also on their phones with the kind of image-based technologies, they're gonna be much more comfortable with the kind of integration of imaging into that physical exam and their general care of patients and making a scanner that's more portable and easy to use and with its full range of applications enables medical students and residents to learn all the elements of their physical examination augmented with diagnostic imaging. So the PAL scanner can really augment all those things they're learning in their clinical skills early on and then integrate it as they learn the clinical knowledge and as it's integrated, it will become seamless to the point where I think that next generation of trainees will never be able to remove the ultrasound. It will be an integral part of how they see and deal with patients. There are some AI developments coming down the pike that I think could be quite transformative for particularly learning how to use ultrasound. And I think AI could really help streamline that process, maybe drop the barriers to achieving competence both with how to generate the image so it's interpretable and then interpreting the image accurately once they generate that, that image itself.